Hello, ho ho, and welcome back to Python with another yeah, small tutorial this time because it's a topic I didn't cover yet and it's time to cover it. So yeah, today we are talking about arcs and quarks. And yeah, maybe I'm spelling this wrong, but um, I'm yeah telling about certain keywords or yeah, to be more specific, special syntax which is an beginning with an asterisk and yeah then you have a h r g s yeah and the other one is the same with two other letters in front of it k walks or key walks or quarks containing two asterisks and yeah then the keyword and yeah first let's do the arcs what is arcs arcs is or stands for arbitrary arguments and as a non-native speaker I used many attempts to speak spell that and yeah we are using this feature to get or to make a variable number of arguments for a function and yeah what am I meaning with it let's define a function um, let's call it cool stuff and yeah, it has cool input and yeah, the other input is arguments. And yeah, what it print is, it should print us our cool input. And for i in, or for argument in arguments, And in this case, we are not doing the asterisk print arc. So now let's call our function, cool stuff, R B C. And yeah, he's just printing it. And as you can see here, he already identified the first input as cool input and the second input as our arguments yeah and there can be multiple data types like we had a string we had numbers and here we have a list and yeah everything works fine and this can be useful in situations where we for example don't know how many inputs uh, how much inputs the function has for example yeah let's create other stuff like while input let's first define a list lee equals this one lee point append let's first find something yes lee append a and yeah it's the end Let's do cool stuff. Let's the first input is you type the following and then we have tuple of our list li. And if we do that like a b a c lop we get a tuple yeah of course i need to i need to transform the tuple yeah a s f s a f d a now an empty one and yeah now he's uh, accepting multiple arguments and yeah this is the case for example where we can use asterisk args as our input okay by the way if you don't know that um, you have to use uh, asterisk to unpack our tuple that it will read as different arguments so each element of the tuple will be read as an individual 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 argument and not only uh, the tuple as one argument no matter how many elements it contains 
Okay, so let's head to quarks. Please write in the comments if I'm spelling it kind of strangely. I will do it better in the next one. Okay, but yes. Now, for example, while we can type as many arguments as we want, if we have a keyword argument like a equals ASDF, he will get a type error, got an unexpected keyword argument. So what can we do? Now we are typing two asterisks, quarks, and now it won't show us or it won't raise the exception and because this one, the last one is seen as a quark keyword argument, we can for keyword argument in asterisk keyword arguments of course to asterisk print asterisk quark no, without any asterisk, yes and yeah, now he's printing our A if we don't Okay, he will do the same. Wondering why he won't accept one asterisk. Maybe I have something wrong in my mind. Let me think. Oh, I got it. I guess I got it. Item. Quark item. No. Sorry for that. Quark. Ah, yeah, because it's um, print quarks point. We can print our items and we can say, for example, for e in quark items, then we will get the dictionary items. And yeah, we can just use one asterisk and we will get a yeah, tuple containing first the keyword and then the yeah the value we can use for example another keyword and yeah then he will get us two tuples and we can use for example we can print the values and then he's just returning the values so yeah we can we can yeah get access to the keyword argument as you can see like a dictionary like a, like a tuple and stuff like this there's many ways how you can get access to the keyword arguments but me for example i work mostly just with arguments in my cases or the cases i was using it it was enough yeah, but yeah, maybe you know a lot of situations where keyword arguments can be useful. For example, we can for a b in yeah, this should be possible because we have tuples. Yeah, print f. This should work. B. And yeah, if we are doing it like that, we get, we can get access to the keyword and its element. Like this two, three, what? Okay, but that's everything I wanted to show about quarks and arcs. Yes, I hope you had fun, learned something while watching the video and yeah. See, so see you in the next video. Have a nice evening, dinner time, night time, whatever time it is. See you and bye bye. Ox. Ox is standing for uh, screw that. This is a special, special syntax in Python which. Hello, welcome back to Python with another video.
And yeah, today a quick tutorial about the topic I didn't cover yet, didn't uh -huh, yet, so it's time to cover it. Hmm. This sounds dumb. Hello, whoa, whoa, and welcome back to Python, welcome back to another video, um, um, no. Hello, welcome back to Python, welcome back to... Um, 